Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of Simmons Street Cemetery in Auckland. Well, 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 what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? We've got a big obelisk with a big old pyramid on top. We just zoom in there a little bit. There we go. Big old pyramid on top. Stepped up pyramid base. Surname of James. Guess what? Two days old. Hey. Either a bad inbred batch or sacrifice of their own, either or. But it's undeniable. Black and white tiling. Granite obelisk. It's a Mason family. Surname of James. 1868. Eh? 1868. All well, this whole cemetery is full of them. Everything you think you know about history of New Zealand is a lie. All of it. All of it is a lie. And if you go through your cemeteries, you soon find that. And here's John William James, passed away in his 79th year. Well, well, well. Lots of adrenochrome there, I'd say, eh? You sick little bastards. And here's, here's Mary Ethel. This must have been... Uh, this is another baby. It's another baby. Aged 11 months and 20 days, the infant daughter. Look at the filthy saying at the bottom. Suffer little children to come unto me. You sick bastards. Jigs up. Game's over. We see you. We see you. Undeniable. It's even lined in granite, black granite on the outside, as well as the black and white tiling. Was that a bad inbreed batch or a family sacrifice? Who knows? But I can tell you now it's sick. Jigs up though. We know. Oh, we know. And let's have a look. We've got another one here, another granite one. Got another granite one just here. Even look at the way this is all laid out. You can't even walk between aisles. It's so decrepit. You know, you have to go backwards and forwards. And what have we got here? This one's really disturbing. Aged 93 and a son aged 8. Now that's actually quite decrepit now. I think it's meant to be some sort of globe, light bulb or balloon or something. Who knows, that one's really disturbing. Now we've got this. Well, 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 family of thorn. We've got pyramid pillars. See that? This one's done in white cement or it's hiding something else. No ages on these ones. Oh yeah, those ones we do. So there's a child surnamed Thor with car. Thorn with car, mixed with a goodwill, aged two years old. Car with a thorn, car with a thorn. Is there any names on this side? No. The surnames Thorn and Car, mixed with a goodwill. No ages on these. Doesn't say anything about what ages they are. Interesting. William, Eileen and Matilda. 22, 22 and 25. And that one at the bottom, Thomas Will, Goodwill Carr, aged two. It's amazing how many young toddlers you find in the Freemason cemeteries. They are all buried here. Now we've got a lovely two big phallic symbols right next to each other here. Let's go take a look, ladies and gentlemen. This one's a cracker. Oh, we got the pillars and all. Look at this one, eh? We got your little carvings, your little Freemason pillars, and it's got your not, it's got your Templars cross on it as well. Look at that, eh? Look at that. I hope you can see that. It's carved into the granite there. Templars cross. Pillars depicted here. Have a look at the size of that. My Godfather. Hey, the Creator sees you. You're done. This one. Surname Williamson. Well, well, well. These were big boys in town, weren't they? Eh. Now this carving on this side's all well worn away. You can't really see what it is, except here 
we've got going this way it's really hard to depict what that one was but look at the size of this one hey that's your big boy in town you got a worshipful master here now this one here is really quite sinister and I'll tell you why firstly you've got the fence around it with the fleur-de-lis Isis Horace and Seth inbreeders okay yeah and double and it's done double too this one here in sacred memory of Elizabeth the beloved wife of Thomas Short right so let's have a look what we got here we got the urn we got the urn with the roses meaning blood was spilt here and sacrifice was made really sick people somebody else there and somebody else there can't read the inscription it's too old probably children but who would know this is particularly the, where you see the urn ladies and gentlemen the urn signifies blood sacrifice and our seed was laid it's really disturbing but you see this little thing here your little fleur de lis they're incest breeders and that's undeniable Oh. Extra bag. And of course we've got the half pillar here. Half pillar here, meaning they were they, they were cut short before their journey. That's what the half pillar is, but you'll notice it's done on the stepped up base pyramid. Half pillar means their journey was cut short. Who knows why? But everywhere you look in this cemetery, all the headstones are standing up. Symbolism all over the headstones. All over them. So there's another big phallic one over there I want to go and have a look at. Some of them are really hard to read, but you've got to try and realise that a lot of them are children. Okay, you've got to ask yourself, why is it all the dead children turn up at the Freemason end of a bloody cemetery? You know, you've got to ask yourself that. This is the end of part two.